Now let's turn to the train crash in the United States now and several people have died after an Amtrak train derailed on Monday in Washington state. Noah Adam with the details. 77 passengers and seven crew were aboard when the train derailed off a bridge and crashed onto the highway below. The accident happened during morning rush hour on Monday and the train was on its inaugural run on a faster route from Seattle to Portland, Oregon. It was said to be moving at nearly 130 kilometers an hour just before it reached the overpass where the speed limit is significantly lower. A local fire official said at least three people were killed but no fatalities were reported among motorists. About 100 people are in hospital with a few of them sustaining serious injuries. Images from the scene show one carriage on Interstate 5 while the others dangle over the bridge. The National Transportation Safety Board has launched an investigation. Amtrak President Richard Anderson suggested that the cause of the crash could be due to a malfunction of a system on the track that automatically slows a train down if it senses it is going too fast. President Trump, meanwhile, used the deadly derailment to call for more spending on infrastructure in a tweet sent a few hours after the accident. He said the crash was why his, quote, soon-to-be-submitted infrastructure plan must be approved quickly. The accident happened on a newly completed bypass. The possibility that the wreck was caused by something on the tracks fed into concerns voiced by local officials about the risk of high-speed trains crossing busy streets. The mayor of a town near the derailment had warned about the danger of an accident at a public meeting only two weeks ago. Noara, Adiran News.